What's up, guys? I'm starting a Patreon. It's a dollar. It's called Jason Nash's Dollar Patreon. The link is in the description. Uh, go check it out if you want. If not, don't even look at it. Okay, enjoy today's video. What's up guys, welcome to our Q&A, or my Q&A that Trish is helping with. I'm not sure what it's gonna be. Put these glasses on, look how, look how cool she looks. Yeah, well, love Does it, them. She looks like she's um, hosting a, a sexy talk show on Playboy Radio. Hey guys, welcome to After Hours with Trish and <laughs> Hi, um, my girlfriend that doesn't seem to want to have sex with me anymore. <laughs> what, what are the kind of things that she could do? Also, I don't have a job and uh, I live with my mom. Well, you sound really sexy. <laughs> and you know what? Guys oh, who live with their moms, I'm turned on by that. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Honestly, my dream job would be to like be a talk show host. Like if we were like Kelly and Ryan. Kelly and Ryan. Oh, but that's like the goal. Talk show. Oh, babe! What? <laughs> I was so enthralled with your story. So I was doing, I was imagining it. I was like, oh yeah, that'd be so cool. We'd have a morning talk show. And I'd be thin like Ryan Pixie Crest. Cause like, I'd be on TV, so I'd have, they'd get me a trainer. And I'd always look good. And we'd have so much money, cause we'd be on TV. And then all of a sudden, Sorry. coffee stain. Yeah, I got this. This is the best pizza in LA. If you ever want to go get pizza, this is something I would never buy. I would never. Trisha, except that I was with Trish last night and we went in and Trish was like, baby, you should get that. It's a great hat, get it. This is just not a purchase, but, but for Trisha, <laughs> Trisha will buy literally anything. Like a guy will be selling his old shoes on the street and you're like, you're like I think we need, that. We need those, man. We need to grab those. So I got the hat, it was... Uh, it sounds like you're promoting Prime Pete's, like they're sponsoring you, but in fact you spent money on the hat. Yeah, I, this, was, this, hat, this hat was $30. They charge thirty dollars for this hat. I know. We ordered three slices of pizza, and they only gave us one. So, but I mean, it is a cool hat. But I, yeah, it's not a promo. Or anything. I think it's cool. I think it's worth thirty dollars because it looks like a vintage, like Pizza Boy hat. Like it looks cool. Yeah. And we look really matching with our white and our red. Anything to hide my face, and we're good. Okay. See? No. Watch. Forty-five. Thirty-five. Wow. 16. 16. I love dating a 16-year-old. <laughs> Trish is doing a podcast today with celebrities. <laughs> right? Yeah, I guess so. Not YouTubers, guys. Traditional celebrities. Trish is, uh, she, she's at the top of the YouTube heap. She's definitely like celebrity-wise. Friends with Shane Dawson. Friends with Jeffree Star. Friends with David Dobrik. That's true. And, and holds her own. <laughs> and then you have the traditional media here. Mm -hmm. And Trish is like, We really like it. We'd love to do something with you. But right now, we just can't reach you. We're trying. We're trying. And they do put hands out a lot of times for Trish. You know what happens? Trish that day just decides she doesn't care and doesn't show up. <laughs> That's actually accurate. Yeah, I like traditional celebrities because for me, traditional celebrities like made it at a time where not everyone can make it. Like you, like now everyone can be a YouTube star if they want to be. Like anyone can do it. Literally anybody. But yeah. back in the day, like you would be on TV. Like some, you had to get through gates and people saying yes, we like you, we like you, we like you, we like you. I also think it's it's just so much better now because it's like there were just so many gatekeepers before. Right. It was all like who you knew and stuff and now like Oh I agree. I couldn't break it. <laughs> Nobody wanted to hire I couldn't me. Break it either. <laughs> but like it works in my benefit because now I have a TV show on tonight at midnight if you guys are seeing this tonight and every night this week. What's at the name of the show? How, how can we the, find it? It's called the drama. You can go to askthedrama.com or no, maybe it's the drama.com. I can't remember. But my bio is on the website. You can go see me. My bio literally says YouTube star. I think everyone else wrote their own bios and I, I don't think I responded to that email where I was supposed to write my own bio. So my bio literally is just like, YouTube sensation that appeared on Celebrity Big Brother. That's like my bio. It's like one line. Oh, well, why don't we write you a bio? I did write and I think I got it in too late and I saw my bio and everyone else was like bragging about all the shows they've been on and mine's just like... Last time we went out we saw Mama Mia, which uh, Trisha had been asking me for weeks to go see Mama Mia, which um... Do a quick review of Mama Mia. What did you think? I love Mama Mia. <laughs> the movie review guys <laughs> she was in heaven oh my God. last night she would every time something would happen or even the smallest thing like she started running through the field and she was picking oranges singing like dancing queen and trisha was just like car wheels she was doing car she was doing wheels wheel. she fell when she picked an orange because to me that's so like classic movie like that's why i wanted to be an actress because i want to do stuff like that that's why i made like 50 music videos so i just love like I love stories with music. Yeah. Mamma Mia figured out, the franchise figured out, that they could make a second movie 
an origin story with the same exact songs, <laughs> and people would would go see it. And you should have seen the crowd last night. Literally, this movie has been out for three months. No, like a month. Okay, let's say it's been out a month. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was a long. It was almost packed in yeah. the theater, and people were hooting and hollering. People were like, "Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah." You were too. You were like, "I was dancing it. a little." Yeah. Are we answering questions? I don't know. I think this is fun too. Okay. Okay. I like it. I love just talking. Just, we are just doing the gotta go. go. No, we are doing. No, 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 no. I love it. We are doing morning chats with Jason and Trish. Who is Trish's favorite in the vlog squad? Um. Well, I'm so confused on who the vlog squad. Like, who's who is entailed? Everyone, all your friends. Like, is everybody in it? Everybody's in the vlog squad. Like Dom, Big Nick, Brennan. Like all those people are. Yeah, in? everybody. That's a big squad. <laughs> probably David's her favorite. Well, only because we hang out with him all the time. Yeah. yeah. And not because he gets the most views, just because I see him the most. Like, if I hung out with other people more, we just don't hang out with anyone else. You never invite me around anyone else. David will be like, oh, bring Trish. Question. Would you ever consider having your own reality show, Trisha Paytas? I'd rather watch that any day over the Kardashians. Yes, it starts airing on E! this fall. Check it out. We shot a reality show, Sizzle, but we, we don't know what's happening. Probably in the next couple months we'll know. Someone it's so it. good. Like, okay, so I've never done a reality sizzle. Like, people always tell me, oh, you should have your own reality show. Why don't you have your own reality show? But the problem is, you have to, like, get someone to do your sizzle. And it just, I've just been so lazy. So with this one, like, Jason just takes care of it and talks to the people and everything like that. So I don't like to do anything. And I saw the sizzle, and I was like, oh, my God, it's so good. Do I know it's good? Because, like, I was, like, cringing. Uh -huh. And I know people say that about my videos. Mm -hmm. They're like, watching Trish is like watching a train drag. I cringe so hard at her videos. And I never really understand it because I don't watch my videos back. I just make them. And same thing with this reality show. Like, I watched we made it, and I was like, okay, it's fine, whatever. And then I watch it, and I'm like, oh, now I know the cringe factor people feel when they watch us. Yeah. And I think that makes good TV because I feel like people cringe at, like, reality shows. One thing you dislike about each other. Oh. <laughs> ah! Bring out the list. I actually love everything. The funniest thing is like the only thing I dislike about him is that I don't see him enough. Like I like love Jason so much, but like he'll be like, oh, you make things so hard, put so much pressure on me. I'm like, what? Because I want to see you. Like I don't ask for money. I don't ask for expensive things. I don't ask for anything. Even our date last night, I was like, I'll pay for it. I don't care. Like it doesn't matter. I just want to spend time with you. Like I don't care about anything else. I just like it when we get along. That's all. I feel like we're doing good. Okay. Are we doing good? Hello? <laughs> yeah, we're doing good. Guys, I've been touring with um, Backstreet Boys. You hate the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> Jason's got beef with the Backstreet Boys. I used to just go see them. I do? Yeah, I you do said that they were assholes when you tried to do a vine with them. No, no, no. I take that back. Like, I get it. Like, like you're the Backstreet Boys, and at like 11.30 <laughs> at night, like you want to do a vine with me. I mean, I get it. Someone's like making you. We were in Miami. It was like me, Carly, and Aaron, and David, and they... And they like brought us to something to like promote this concert. And they're like, okay, you're gonna meet the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> and we're like, okay. And they're like, come in here. And, and that like wasn't part of it. Like we finished everything we needed to do. And then they were like, they're like, great news. We're gonna we're gonna force you to meet the. We're gonna, great news. We're gonna force the Backstreet Boys to meet you. And we were like, oh, it's okay. Like we're fine. They bring us into this room. There's all this press for the Backstreet Boys. And then they like, just just stand there, like, don't say anything to them. And we were just like, hi, hi. And they're like, just get a picture. And, and it was just so forced. I understand like when you're a celebrity that everybody wants a piece of your time probably. And they, just, they don't want to deal with YouTubers. That's it. Did you drink water today? I did. I woke up with a headache. This is some exciting stuff. <laughs> what top three countries do you want to go to? China, Japan, Good. France. Because they all have Disneyland. Tokyo, Hong Kong, Paris. Oh, I'd love wow. to go to Italy. I'd love to go to Australia. I love LA. No, you have to pick another country, babe. Oh. <laughs> I don't like to go anywhere. Does Trisha actually <laughs> hate David like she said in the airport vlog? You know Liza seriously asked me that question on his birthday? She goes, wait, I'm confused. Like, do you like David or do you like hate him? And I'm like, <laughs> like and I'm like, wait, what? Like, do you think I really hate him? Obviously, if I hated someone, I want to hang around them. I mean, there are people I've dated that I don't like their friends. I'm like, I don't want to hang around those people. So, like, if I don't like them, I want to hang around them. This is a weird question to ask. Like, I'm like, I'm obsessed with David. I'm like in love with him in like the way you're in love with like a horse or something or like a dog. Like, you have really a strong passion for them, but you don't want to have sex with them. Do you know what I mean? You love him like a horse mm -hmm. that you don't want to have sex with. Well, you know how people can be in love with a horse, but you don't want to like have sexual relations with a horse. 
You know what I'm saying? You could have said that so many other different ways. <laughs> what I thought you were going to say was, I love him like I love like a little brother who like gets under my nerves sometimes, but I, I always love him and think he's the best. I oh, know, I hate little brothers. I think they're annoying. Like, when I meet someone's little brother, they're You're always just obnoxious. I've never met anyone like you. You, you look at things in the most interesting ways. Aw, oh, I think that's so sweet. The things come out of your mouth. I'm just, I'm like, there's no one else on earth like you. Aww. That's why I love you. Really? Yeah. Are we getting married? Is this a proposal? <laughs> why did you say that? <laughs> She says that at the end of everything. Because <laughs> when he says sweet things to me, I'm like, oh, this is it. Baby, have you seen my razor? Are we getting married? Is this a proposal? <laughs> I've been proposed to you four times, and they always start with someone being like super sweet to you, and they're never sweet to you. Really? Yeah, and like, because most guys that propose to me like never say nice things to me, so once they start saying nice things, that's when the proposal happens. And I have to be prepared for it, because every other time someone proposed to me, I was caught off guard. And I was just like, I didn't know what to say. But I want to be like on. You want to be ready for it. Yeah. <laughs> I think I would do it here in the kitchen. Yeah, that's kind of sweet. You'll take anything you <laughs> Yeah, literally. I don't care. You can do it through a drive through How do you deal with cravings when you're on a diet? <laughs> this is what I struggle most with. I don't. I just give in. <laughs> just eat what you want to eat. Oh, no. I was off my diet for like a, like maybe a solid two weeks now, but I'm back on it today officially. Well, not officially because I had this, but that's only because I'm doing something today that I need a lot of energy for. I literally go, go, I'll go a day starving myself and suffer that whole day, and then the next day I'm fine. That 24 hours or to get all the sugar out of my body, that's... That's really the hardest. And I'll even That's like get true. a headache and stuff. And then I just go to bed that night. So if you want to start your diet, that is my, my trick. Sleep. Which is just go to sleep. They say that a lot, actually. People say, like, just sleep and then, like, don't get out of bed till like, noon. Aside from constant, unnecessary public speculation, what is the hardest part about being a YouTuber? It's just keeping up with, like, this. It's literally like today I woke up and I was like, oh my god, I have to post a video today. Like, what am I gonna do? Well, that's just the way you do it. Like, the way some pe most people should do it, or how I tell people to do it, it's like don't feel pressure to post. Post when you feel like making a video. When you vlog something good, you have a good vlog that you're excited about, post that. I like stuff when, like, as it happens though, too. The funny part of it is, like, it's fresh in our head. People like that better, too, because I know when you post your Bora Bora videos, like, the day we're in Bora Bora, like, you are so excited, and then I post mine, like, a week later, and, like, nobody cares. Last night, somebody came, and um, we walked out of the movie, and somebody recognized me and not... <laughs> but, no, they recognized Trisha, but they didn't ask Trisha for a picture. They asked me for a picture. This one, <laughs> right here... She got so, uh, she got her feathers in a bunch. She, she walked away, she's like, and she, you never get like this. It was You're a like, joke, how come, how, come wanna, how come you didn't want a picture with me? And I was like, are you kidding? 99% of the time, it they asked you for a picture and not me. But it was funny because the guy's like, Trish, can you take a picture? Because he said my name and I was like, oh yeah, you want me to get a photo? Okay. He's like, can you take the picture? I was like, oh, it's always that awkward moment when someone hands you the phone. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's my life. <laughs> Not. In pictures, like people's faces look so small compared to mine. Like I think you have kind of a big face, so we look okay. Like yours is kind of big too, but it's good for camera. Big faces. Oh my God, Stellan Skarsgård, if you're out there, I would love to be in a movie with you, or I'd love to have you in my movie. <laughs> okay, jumping to the next subject, babe. My movie, by the way, did I tell you? Yeah. I'm no. like doing it. I have found a producer. I'm like 100% doing it. And now I'm thinking I want Stellan Skarsgård to be in it, but I think he might be a little on my budget. But who's producer. gonna fund this movie? Trish, buy yourself a house. Don't fund a movie. Do not spend your money on a movie. That's so dumb. I've done that. Don't make that mistake. Ugh. You just said last night all the money you spent on music videos that you yeah, wish you had it. These are the three people I want to be the Even lead. Worse. Can I get my options so if they want to be in it, they can call. I just need one person to be the lead and it plays my dad. I either need Tommy Wiseau from The Room, Matthew Lillard, or Stellan Skarsgård. What's the best memory you guys have together? Hmm. Probably swimming in Maui for me <laughs> together. Our first day when we were at in Maui, and um, I got in the water, and then you, you, I was like, I was very impressed with you. I was like, oh, I was like, she likes to be in the water too. Well, a lot of people like to be in the water. Yeah, but we were in there for a while. I love being in the water. We like swam for a long time because I like that because then it's like it's fun, but it's also exercise. But most of the time, the people I've been with, really, they wouldn't be down for that. I thought you would be that kind of girl. I like, oh, I can't. Oh. Like, oh, I can't no. go in the water because I just had my hair done. I did just have my hair done the day before, but I like don't care either. I'm always just like, whatever, who cares? Oh, I love that. Um, yeah, I, I was like a mess. It doesn't matter. Well, I like that you don't care that I look a mess sometimes. Uh, lately, I've been going with no makeup, and like Jason never says anything to me. I used to have boyfriends all the time. You like, don't leave the house like that. You look gross. Your eyes are puffy. Whatever. Jason oh, like no, literally I don't has don't never said anything. If I, I have like a z, he doesn't care. Like nothing. I don't look at you like that. I don't look at you as uh, like when you look good. That's awesome. Like you looked good last night. When we went out, but. 
When I you, wasn't even having when makeup. You, when you were, oh, I thought you looked really good last night. Oh, thanks. Yeah, she looked like this. So people in your vlogs, like when I was dressed up on Thursday, everyone's like, oh my gosh, Trisha, that was like complete shit, or she looks beautiful. I was like, did you see all the comments? Someone's like, Pam Anderson vibes. Like literally, there was like 50 of those comments. I was like screenshotting them. It's like, it's really funny. We went, we went to the meet and greet Saturday night, and like three people came in and they were like, oh my god, David, we thought you'd be taller. We thought you'd be taller. <laughs> like three in a row. But then, literally, like, and then people, three more people came in and they were like, oh my god, you're so tall. Oh my god, you're so tall. It was so weird. It's so funny what people draw from the videos. I don't think he's short or tall. I think he's good. I think he's a good size. How tall is he, you think? He's probably like 5'11. It's so funny though or six. because. I think six feet tall. No, my mom and sister are the same thing. One said he was short in person, one said he was really tall. He is a weird one because he, to me, I think he's like a tall person. But because he hangs around like Jason, who's like, you're really tall, like for, I feel like, oh, you're above average I'm height. I'm six feet tall. But that's above average. Not, a lot of people are not six so. foot. Because he's around you, I think he's short. But then like alone and like around your other friends, because all your friends are kind of short, like sh on the shorter side. Are they? They're all like 5'10", I think, right? Oh, that's Heath and Zayn, yeah. They're all shorter. So David's tall compared to them, but because of you. And my brother's really tall and my, and my dad's really tall, so I, I'm used to people over six foot. But then when I meet someone under six foot, I'm like, I can't date him under six foot because I'm just so used to like my brother being like, I'm looking up to him. All so right. when you date someone like the same height as you, it's very weird. I like you because like Jason's so like broad and tall, so I feel like smaller. But the boyfriend I had before him was like 5'8 and like 150 pounds, so I felt really like huge and I never want to take pictures. I was like, Ugh. I just felt like. Oh. Do you get mad when I wear my hat sideways? So what's the note? Someone say that? I don't no. know why I do this all the time. I always wear my hat sideways. Sorry, maybe that'll be my clickbait. Why I wear my hat sideways. <laughs> Be an awful quick bait. I think it's a good one. Let's do rapid fire Q and A. What's the thing you wouldn't do? Wouldn't do for a David vlog? Like legit? Do you have a particular line? Yeah. Wouldn't do? Yeah, I would not get shot. I would not get shot with a bullet, <laughs> and that has been offered to me. Charlie or Wyatt or David? I would choose Charlie and Wyatt. <laughs> How do your kids feel about Trisha and vice versa? They love Trisha. They think she's amazing. Aww. And Trisha's really great to them. Vice versa. Do you recommend any show. TV shows? Yeah, Sasha Baron Cohen's new show on Showtime is amazing. And Ask the Drama, Fox 11, Midnight Every Night this Ask week. the Drama, Fox 11. <laughs> Two similar, very similar shows. <laughs> What's your favorite restaurant to go together? Well, probably, we haven't been in a while, but probably that one. What is that one? Mercado. You know where I want to go, but I have to be on a diet for like two weeks before we go there. Home. I really want that ticket. What's the best part about being in the vlog squad? Uh, the best part is I'm like 45 and um, I, get, I, I get to like, they keep me young, probably. Hey, That's probably the best part. I keep you young too. You don't need to be in the vlog squad. Oh, you for keep that. me really young. Oh, Trust me. You know I do. <laughs> Jason wears these pants that are way too big for him and his butt crack is out all the time. And I had some oil over here blow drying out my hair and his butt crack was just like, It was? When you were walking over here and your butt was as you were walking around, you were like, ah, babe, your butt crack. I gotta find a belt. How do you feel about Trisha's 10 children? I think they're great. <laughs> is David the same off camera? Yeah, he's actually f even funnier off camera. I don't think he's the same at all. He's oh, like I... super sweet and nice off camera. Like so, like he's like really nice. And he's like, he's also he's also really goofy off camera too. How did your breakup affect your relationship now? I don't make like little, little jokes and stuff. Like I didn't know she was sensitive before and now I realize she's sensitive. Well, I actually am like less sensitive now because when I did go through that, we were like, why are you breaking up with him over that? I was like, obviously, like a joke, and then I was just saying, like, oh yeah, I know. We both changed a lot. We both have changed for the better, I think. I think so. Yeah, it's been really good. We we did the right thing, which was like, hey, like let's just try to get through this and make it better. And now I think it's better. Oh my god, it's so much better now. I love it. The only thing I get like upset is that I don't like see Jason. Like, I just get frustrated. It's not even like I hate him. I just get like frustrated. That's why when we thought we broke up or a game thought we broke up, I was just like. No, I was just like so frustrated like in the moment when you like don't get to see somebody and you're just like, like especially alone time. Like I see him when we film, but then it's always like with other people, but like like last night it was so, oh my god, that was like, I wanted to cry. It was so magical. Mm. What was your first thought of Trisha when y'all first met? That's a good question. Mm. Truly, truly like your first thought. My first thought was, oh, like she's, she's, she's really normal. I thought you were really pretty. And then I thought, oh, she's really normal. And I thought, oh wow, we we were like we really, we really clicked right away. Yeah, that's true. I thought that too. I thought that was so weird because when I watched you in your vlogs and stuff, I was like, that was someone I didn't think I'd ever be friends with or like like. What? This is my dad, everybody. That's gross. <laughs> we look like father daughter sometimes. That's gross. Don't do that. 
Christian, what enhancement surgery should Jason get, if any? Ooh. Don't you dare answer that. I know what she's gonna say. What? No! <laughs> that was not what I was thinking at all. Why are Wyatt and Charlie not in your videos anymore? What happened was, the kids were in the videos, and I loved having the kids in the videos. And I, I really, 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 really loved it. It was just fun because when I would see them, I could also film and we'd have a really good time. And they and the kids really loved it. Like they were really good at being in the videos and they would pitch me ideas all the time. So this dated back to Vine. I used to put them in Vines and stuff. You know, they just love it. My, my ex-wife was never so keen on it. And then when I started doing YouTube, it became, it was more than just a Vine. It was like, it was really, because YouTube's so much longer and you reveal so much more. Um, she wasn't that keen on it, but my ex-wife's been really great. She's awesome She just doesn't want the kids in the videos anymore. It, it is better That they're not in the videos like I do agree with that But at the same time, it's kind of sad like we went the other day and we shot this thing for David's vlog and he had all these bouncy houses and he hired like 12 kids the same age as Wyatt and Charlie and like Wyatt and Charlie were like, can we can we go in the bouncy house? Can we be in the video? And I was like, no, you can't be in the video. And I, it just sucks. So it's it's yeah. it's painful sometimes. I, everything's good with my ex-wife. She's been very, very, very nice to me. Like, super, super nice. And you know, and and probably because I've, you know, and I and I understand why she doesn't want the kids online. So that's fine. Thanks so much for watching oh. this Q and A. If you want to go over to Trisha's channel, she's got a lot of videos up there. Probably six hundred. Oh, how many? Two thousand. Two thousand. Two thousand videos. So you have the next. Four weeks of your life spoken for. <laughs> you want to go buy a couch right now? Yeah. And you need me to go? Yeah. All right, bye guys. We're gonna go buy a couch. <laughs> Simmer down, won't you love? I'm taking one for the team. We taking shots till it's love. Never know where we can end up. Need this bar, raise the bar for you. I hate a wardrobe in the winter.